Hello, this is John McNaughton, and I am doing a sketch today. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about what's going on lately in the country with the national emergency regarding the coronavirus. Yesterday was a national day of prayer, and I've been thinking a lot about uh, the country, about Trump, my family, and I felt like uh, starting today, which is uh, Monday, March 16th, I'm going to do a, a sketch in my sketchbook here um, every day, and I'm, I'm filming it so you can you can watch me as I do these pictures. Um, they're just simple sketches, and you can watch how they uh, come alive and, and what I do. Um, but I am very reflective about, <clears throat> excuse me, what's going on with this coronavirus and how it's affecting the country. And I decided that I wanted to do uh, a, a long-term fast um, starting today. Um, and I'm, I'm not sure how long I'll go. You know, it could be a few days, it could be a couple of weeks. And I'll just uh, drink water and, and just not eat anything. So I probably won't do as much painting, but I'm going to do a lot of thinking, a lot of praying and, and contemplating the situation uh, in the country. And I'll be praying for my family and for my friends, and those I love. I'm going to pray for the country and I'm going to pray for our president, President Trump. Um, and, you know, I do a lot of, of artwork and paintings that reflect how I feel about what's going on in the country. So, um, as I do these sketches, I'll talk about different things and how I feel about what's going on. I feel like President Trump has done a pretty good job in uh, overall in dealing with this coronavirus. He brought in a team of uh, very knowledgeable and talented people. and. Uh, you know, when he announced the national emergency last week, he had uh, people from different industries in, in both medical and in consumer goods that are going to be able to uh, meet the needs of, of uh, the American people. Um, a lot of people have complained that he didn't have enough test kits on hand, uh, but they had to relieve a lot of the regulations that were carried over from the previous administration. And so considering everything that Trump had to go with, um, I think he's done a great job. Starting with, uh, you know, shortly after finding out what was going on in China, uh, we restricted, you know, air flights going from China to the U.S. And, uh, you know, which, which probably saved many lives if you consider uh, how quickly it cut back what could have been a more rapid increase in the number of people getting the virus. Um, you know, one thing I think is interesting is how the left, in, you know, just has gone after President Trump, just just ripping on him, saying that he could have done more, that he, uh, you know, he hasn't shown good leadership. And I think it's interesting because when they had the, the last pandemic that broke out uh, under President Obama, I remember reading that uh, there were over 20,000 cases in the U.S. before they decided to do anything about it which I think is pretty insane. And so uh, this is not a partisan issue. This is something that, that affects every American. We're all going to suffer from this. We're all going to, uh, you know, we're already seeing it in the market, which in the last 30 days has dropped almost 25%. Uh, I haven't seen this kind of market volatility since, uh, you know, the late 80s. It's just insane. And... So I, you know, I'm seeing how it's affecting uh, already people that I know that are in the restaurant business and, uh, you know, people that, that really work in, in places where people would gather. Uh, as this is really going to devastate our economy. And I, I am looking forward to uh, getting past this, and having a vaccine. I, I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic that we're going to be able to get a vaccine soon. So at this point, you know, we just have to be smart, we have to be compassionate, we have to be careful and vigilant to, to do all we can to, 
to prevent other people, especially the elderly and those with preconditions, from getting this, uh, this virus. Um, I'm going to do just a lot of thinking and praying over the next uh, couple of weeks. And the reason I'm doing this water fast is because it gives me clarity. I've done them before. This is probably the fourth time I've done a long-term fast. Uh, the longest I've done is two weeks. And I usually don't do a lot of painting because that just, you know, it, I get lightheaded. <laughs> and so, you know, I can do a sketch like this and not have to think too deeply. But, but anything more than that is just too much for me. So I have to relax and, and just, you know, really allow the thoughts to flow. And when I'm fasting like this, I, I get a lot of inspiration. I get ideas for paintings. I, I get ideas for my personal life and my family and other people I care about. Um, I say a lot of prayers for people. And, and um, you know, I think that our country needs prayers right now. And I appreciate the president for calling out a national day of prayer on Sunday. I, I think that we needed that. So here I'm going to be writing uh, a quote from President Trump. I like to do that next to the sketches. And I, I do it in kind of a relaxed, haphazard, uh, different types of fonts so that it feels like you can feel the emotion in the words that are being said. And so I don't give it too much thought. I just try to vary it. And, um, I have a lot of fun doing these. You know, this is just going in my sketchbook. And I've done so many of these already. I've got hundreds of these sketches, uh, not just of President Trump, but all kinds of people, you know, interesting things they say. And, you know, when you draw it like this, the, the, the pencil and the drawing creates a lot of emotion uh, just in the, the freedom of the expression of the drawing. So here's my quote from President Trump. He said this just recently. He said that... Uh, we are a country that throughout our history has looked, looked to God for protection and strength in times like these. I hope you enjoyed this sketch. Um, I'm going to make it available at some point in a small limited edition print. And I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you uh, tomorrow as I do my next sketch.